Yo, King, what's Yo, good, what's dog? Up, chef? Chillin', How son. you doing, my boy? Excellent, excellent. Another one, dog. What's this? Episode 13? 14? Something 13, like that. Something 13, like 14? that. Yeah, we up there, dog. Hell yeah, I got oh, my yeah. boy. We got another guest. Matt Vias. My boy, Matt Vias. Matt Vias. Appreciate you showing up today, man. Appreciate that, dog. He owns Blue, Ta- uh, Blue Panda Tattoo, dog. It's on Saul Kleinfield and Mount Wood. Go mm-hmm. check out my boy. How was your week, man? Uh, another week, dog. Grinding. Uh, just cooking it up, chefing it up, training the apprentice. Uh, what else? Um, I mean, this is a Father's Day weekend. Actually, I took off, man. So, spend it with the kids. Un- unbeknownst to me, man, I actually had some days off. You had off. no clue. No, nah, well, I wanted to take a weekend off. I didn't know it was Father's Day weekend. Dog. Oh, actually, shit. like I told, like I told you, like my calendar doesn't have a, um, like the holidays, holidays on it. It's just on there. numbers and shit. So I was like, boom, I got the weekend off, and then I realized it was Father's Day. So I'm like trying to tell my ex these cool vibes. Yo, yo, can I slide through? <laughs> yeah, real quick? I slide through. Kick like a mob this time, this time. Yeah, she was cool with it, but it was all good. Had went to Dave and Buster's, you know, shopping and all that stuff. Hell it was yeah. fun, man. It was fun. Kicked it. Good weekend, bro. Good weekend. That's How about yours, man? How was your week, dog? Oh, it was great, dog. It was a busy ass weekend, man. As you know, Father's Day, it's it's busy. You see a lot of dudes, you know, they were getting I'm blessed to uh have the clientele that I have, man. You know what I mean? Um building new clientele as well. So that's great. You know what I mean? I love to see new people. I love to make new interactions and and share my work with other with other people too. You know what I mean? So Oh yeah. What about you, dog? How was your week, man? Busy. Busy. busy, there you go. No hey, yeah, off, that's what no we do off. here, man. Grind. Did all the family stuff still on uh, Father's Day, which was great. Yeah. yeah. But still had a shorter appointment, but still went, went in. Got some grind on. Hell yeah, yeah on yeah. a Sunday. On a Sunday, every day. Hell yeah. Right, what's, what's, up? what's up, bro? Well, we appreciate you being here, Matt. If you don't mind just taking a second and tell us about your business still over there at Blue Panda and uh, how, and basically, you know, how, how you got it, how you came about with Blue Panda. For, well, let's start. Uh, how did you become a tattoo artist that what made you want to become a tattoo artist and shit like what 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 did you say? i knew you were always yeah, yeah. an artist dog like yeah yeah we would take this dude to go get his paints and all that stuff so uh no man honestly just um i started tattooing because i wanted to go to school you know so, oh, i can do this save money you know uh get to college something like that uh fell in love with it though kind of hit the ground running yeah um i've always been like you know me man i've always been in the art always been doing that shit so it got to it pretty easy. You yeah. Know? Um, I was blessed in that. But um, the way my mind works, uh, the way I grind, the way I, like it's a business, I want to keep pushing myself. I'm not going to be second best to anybody. Right. Um, You're striving for the best. Yeah. Striving yeah. For, per- for perfection, but that I, mambo mentality. That's, yeah, I, that's what I loved about it. You know what I mean? Any other business, you like, go, okay, you go along, you do what everybody's doing, you know, you try to be successful in this. Uh, day one, you're your own business. You know what I mean? If you're not good, if you're not busy, your fault. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Sounds all like that on me, I just, I loved, you know, I'm going to uh, take control of my business, you know, and take control of how good I can be. It's kind of you know? taking life by the horns and shit, like, you know, taking control of your life fully in that aspect of, you know, doing something that you're passionate about and making money off of it, you know? Yeah, man, you got to be that way, man. You, you can't um, put limits on yourself what other people see. Right. You know what I mean? Or like if you uh, define your your life, but what, uh, how other people see success, you're kind of limited to their version of success. Exactly. You know what I mean? I never wanted to be second to anybody. Yeah. And this what I loved it because uh, every day is an opportunity to push yourself and to do what other people are not doing. True. Right. Other people go to the bar. What are you doing? Nice. Yeah. What you know what I mean? So that yeah. So that's how I kind of yeah, started yeah. up and like they can go they can go uh, go to the bars they can go drinking they can go party and shit. I'm gonna be here practicing. Mm. You know, and still to this day, man, I I still try to find my uh, opportunities to practice, to learn. You're a student of the game. Things. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't like to stop learning. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? That's a great aspect to have, dog, because it's, you know, a lot of people get to, a, especially in like being an artist, we get to a certain point where we feel like, all right, like, I can't learn anymore, kind of mm-hmm. in a cocky way. You know what I mean? That ego is kind of there, and it's oh, like, yeah, I'm I'm the best. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. and a lot of people have a hard time receiving constructive criticism, dog. And they're like, Nah, man, this is this 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 is the way I do it, or whatever. You know what I mean? But it's refreshing to hear that, dog. That you're always learning, always striving to you know learn new uh, techniques and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but coming up, like, how what what are some of the tribulations you've had, dog? Like in you know, becoming a tattoo artist and... Damn, yeah. Uh, actually, two different things that you're looking at there. Uh, actual tattooing part and the business part, right? They go uh, hand in hand with that and everything, but like the business itself, when I opened Blue Panda, um, 
that first year was probably one of the worst years of my life, man. As far as um, uh, partners that I had at the time, like leaving one one by one, kind of left me held in the bag, right? Mm. Um, once everybody's gone, and I'm the new cat. I knew I was the new cat. I knew I was the guy who didn't know anything. So I'm going off of everybody around me that has been doing it for years, you know? And um, new in the business, I don't know what's going on. Uh, within a year, they're all gone, you know? So I'm like, how do I run a business that I don't know? Yeah. So um, at that point, sold everything I had. Um, I was living out of my truck. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Um, what? For real? Dog? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I was, I was sleeping in the shop, most of all, you know? But I still had my gym membership, so I'd go, you know, shower and stuff over there. Um, sold my car, sold everything, you know, just to make sure the business keeps going. You know, because I wasn't, I wasn't going to fail. There was, a, there was other uh, shop owners, you know, that... Um, or kind of rooting, not only rooting, but trying to make me fail. Mm. You know what I mean? Rooting, rooting for your failure, yeah. Not just rooting for it, but actively trying to be a part of it. You mm. know what I mean? They would um, uh, call the, um, what's it called? Health inspector. Health whatever. inspector. Yeah, they call you health inspector. Like, oh, yeah, they're doing this, they're doing this. They'd come in, and we were really cool. I was always really cool with the health inspectors and everything because I try to be on point with yeah. everything. Uh, I don't um, cut corners. You know, I don't do anything like that. So, like, I make sure all my, you know, eyes are, eyes are dots, T's across, all that shit, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Um, you have to, dog. Yeah, they come in like, oh, yeah, they said you're doing this. They said you were like, uh, th- all right, who, it was it this guy? It's like, yeah, we can't tell you, but yeah, it was this dude. Oh, you know, shit. so that people coming after me, it's like, nah, go ahead. You know, I'm going to wish them nothing but love. You know, when I see them, I'm like, hey, man, God bless you, bro. You know, you're not going to change me. You know, so keeping that attitude, I still try to have it to this day. Um Man, that's hard though. You know what I mean? It is. That's it hard because when you know when you know that people are proactively um, trying to stop you from doing business, though, that's I don't I don't know if I'd be the same. You know what I mean? I give you props for that shit, man. Cause so what's what stopped you from being like prideful? Like, hey, no, you can't do this. this. Is my business. You can't treat me like that or whatever. Honestly, man, I um, I just keep uh, keep God first, man. That's that's always going to be in my heart. And uh, if somebody's going to do me wrong, yeah, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to do them wrong. Because that means they they won. Yeah. You know what I mean? They changed me. They yeah, changed yeah. the way I think. They oh, changed the way nice, I, exactly. I do things. Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to be right. the cr- creator of you. Let's say, like, you see somebody, um, uh, a homeless dude, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You know this dude. There's, there's people who actually need help. Yeah. You can tell there's other people that, you know, just want to go drink or something like that, right? Right, right. I'm going to do, I don't care, like, who it is. I'm going to give you 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you something because um, I did my part. You know, I'm still going to help you out. Uh, regardless of what you might do. Yeah. So if somebody tries to do me wrong, like, man, that sucks. It hurts. Mm -hmm. But I'm still going to do what I do, and I wish you the best. Mm -hmm. You ever reach out to me again, and, like, you sincere apology, bro, we can be homies, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not about wishing uh, hate on anybody because that's going to change me, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and weigh me down. So I'm not going to get weighed down by anybody's hate or anybody's ill wishes. It's hard. Were you always like this, though? Yeah. Or did it did it kind of like no honestly like people even though people who are close to me don't really understand it all the time you know what I mean like they wouldn't do it that way or they wouldn't give somebody a second chance after they did something like that right you know but uh it's always worked for me you know I don't want to change who I am you know and yeah just love for everybody bro but it's sure. it's it's not always easy though for sure oh yeah for sure though like. Trust me, dog. I, I kind of feel the same way, man. Like, I'm glad you brought that up. I don't want to dive deep into it. But you kind of know when you're in your mm-hmm. in that industry, you can see it. You know what I mean? Just like as you know, too, there's there's competition now. Oh, yeah. Bet, bet, you know bet. what I mean? Oh, yeah. So and it's hard. I don't ne- I never react, but it's hard not to think about it. You know what I mean? It's hard not to be like, mm-hmm. damn, I wish I could. Oh, you know, I want to do something. I want to say something just to make it known. But then I kind of, all right, well, what is that going to yeah. cause? What's going to happen? Yeah, for me, uh, I just recently, because uh, for, for a long time, if you look up, uh, if you Google personal chef, it was just uh, keeping a PC with me right there yeah. on the map and everything. And now you scroll down a little bit, there's a, two more personal chefs offering my type of service so put a little fire in my ass actually for that week though because like nah i don't even care about that yeah. dog. you know what i mean like i'm so like caught up in what i'm doing to go forward that that's in the review mirror you know what i'm saying like i'm it's not worried about yeah bro. you know what i'm saying like i'm not even like clicking to see what they're doing because i don't even care dude i'm just keeping my shit at top quality um keep my my clients you know happy 
have full have plans. full confidence in your skill yeah, yeah, and then what else can you control that's at what's that gonna point. work what, for you what else you know can you control at that point you know what i mean like yeah for sure you can only control your quality your per, your your customer service and and you know the type of product you're putting out you know so you feel it like we feel that anger right yeah. if you get like somebody's trying to get under your skin and shit yeah and then okay you're trying to deal with that but then you're working right you're, right. you're cooking and shit do you feel it like coming out in your cooking yeah it's actually fuel it's fuel you know what i'm saying like it makes me get better you know what i'm saying like it, it's actually like more uh fire for me but it's also like pushing me to do more things like i'm gonna, I'm gonna garnish this plate like so fucking retarded i'm gonna make every color in the spectrum come out on yeah. this plate you know what i mean so it's like fire for me like you know what i mean rather than like feeling like i'm in cruise control like oh i got this lamb you know no big yeah. deal but if somebody's like at my neck i'm like Shh, no i'm gonna make sure it's cut right i'll make sure it's you know kind of precision it. everything yeah, precision. even though they're not there in the room like yeah. rooting against yeah. you so or whatever condition is good condition is definitely yeah. good dude absolutely it's still kind of fueling you from you know what i mean the back burner and shit yeah, 1, definitely, yeah for sure for sure um but damn i didn't even know that shit dog, that you was like staying in your truck and shit like that but that's yeah yeah so it takes you gotta be all in you gotta be all in mm -hmm. man on your dream your passion all that shit man that's that's one kudos the, to you yeah, man yeah, one Seriously. of the first tattoos i got was actually this one right here in my hand uh, as far as all this i started with this one i don't have it a lot i'm not crazy tattoo yeah you know but i did start with this one the mm -hmm. reason being was that um there was no turning back right you get showing tattoos it kind of changes what you can and 1000 yeah exactly you, know, you can't get a regular job you know and all uh -huh. that stuff so oh yeah I said nah this is kind of my like there's no turning back yes, yes. you know what yes. I mean? so with wow. that like yes Let's anything this. Let's anything came too. around anything like um with that dude or like other people or um every time somebody left you kind of had to start the whole business all over <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what i mean yeah. i had three other partners at the time every time one of them left i had to redo the whole contract redo all and because of paperwork shit yeah. uh once one of them leaves you gotta wait another like two, three weeks for them to actually go inspect you again, do it all over again. So every time that happened, all right, shut down. We can't tattoo. Damn. You know, again, and I'm very on point about being uh, ready, yeah. being ready in case they come inspect me. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So every mm -hmm. time somebody would leave, like, hey, they got a random, random call. You know, they're gonna come inspect you and shit. So. Uh, so you would geez. you would have to shut down business yeah. because you didn't want mm -hmm. anybody mm -hmm. doing it the wrong way. It's 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 like they're waiting for me to mess up. You know what I mean? All right, man, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do it the hard way. Is it but I got through it. You know? Is it true the tattoo business is territorial? And like, you know what? It used, it used to be way, way more territorial than it is now. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like if you, how it used to be like if you open up a, a shop like within 20 miles of another one, uh -huh. like they'll go and glue your locks. They'll bust open your windows, all that. It's like yeah. disrespectful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm Damn. talking like way, way back, right? Yeah. Like, um, the, like it, notorious days and. No, no, no. I'm talking about like, like. The 80s, 90s, oh, kind of like okay, way okay, back, right? Okay. Um, little history behind it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. yeah. There's, man, the history is so beautiful. Too. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's so crazy. Stuff. Dope. Well, now it's like you open stuff down the street, like, yeah, you know, it's not it's not cool. You know, but people don't care nowadays. People don't really have a lot of respect, you know, especially the new generations coming up for the people who have gone before them, right? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the new shops don't really know their history. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of sucks, but like, I'm not going to hate on them because it, Every like every week, I'll hear about another shop that closed down. You know what I mean? Like oh, the shop, doing this shop turned. I didn't even know that was a shop. Oh damn! Like when did that happen? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, as long as you focus on yourself and wish everybody, you know, the best, man. You're not gonna have any like bad vibes holding you down. Sure, that's great. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm absolutely. just gonna keep moving forward and mm -hmm. try to help out everybody I can. Have but you, you, but you, you, like you said, it, there is a respect thing about it. Like respectfully, it should be yeah. okay. Let me give myself some distance should from. <laughs> You have, you, I mean? have you always been like this though like your attitude toward like yeah, adversity man. yeah and yeah it, it's who do you think uh what do you think you got that from dog like as a kid obviously Seriously, you know yeah. what i mean like, from a, honestly my parents grandparents you know what i mean both on both sides bro they all show nothing but love and everything so i never got the vibe of them being hating hating on anybody mm -hmm. or wishing anybody bad and they're happy you know, regardless of how successful the business is I'm, mm -hmm. I want to be happy that's good, the way man. I can be best I can be happy is yeah. to, to help other people that's great advice you know, that's it, great advice it does man. suck though when somebody does you dirty and you're like man why would you do that but I love you anyway wish yeah. you the best I can hurt but like I'm, I'm not going to change who I am and it's hard to stay that way, you know, in any any business, any business. And, how, and like, you know, damn, you ever been like like a bad breakup, like a like you burn, hate, right? <laughs> bro. Sometimes, yeah, because like honestly, I, I've had this business to where you know, I've like, tried to build a like um, a crew mm -hmm. of people who are like minded that want just want to get better, sure, absolutely, and put yeah. art first, business, right? Yeah, sure, okay. And I've uh, apprenticed a lot of people, taught a lot of people, and mm -hmm. um, sometimes they leave, sometimes they stay, and um, yeah, it hurts when they leave, right? But 
at the end of the day, you'll be like, you know what? They're just trying to do what's better for them. Yeah, they, yeah, they for feel sure. they're not comfortable there, or they feel like they can mm-hmm. benefit somewhere else. Yeah, that's my you know? that's my psyche because I'm training a psych an apprentice yeah, right now. Yeah, you know what it is. That's my psyche, but I I I, I don't know what it's gonna be like to go through it when he's like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go work at this restaurant. So you know, mm-hmm. in two weeks, this and that, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Just because, like, things are working out now. You know what I mean? I see a future. So, that obviously, that you, uh, you probably saw a future with that you know person. What? Mm-hmm. And then they cut it off. You That's know what the mean? hardest part, I think, yeah. about doing all that, bro, uh-huh. is, like, you're investing your time, time in this kid. Yeah. And you see And you know eventually, like, yeah, you want, you're, you're doing it. And then if you're doing it the right way, you want them to do their own thing. Yeah. You I, want them I to. I mean, half of it know? is sentimental, but half of it is, like, damn, I invested some time. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like, invested time, money. Yeah. You know, I help out them with their uh, supplies. Right, you know, I'm not really a shysty person anyway. Oh, so me like, neither, man. Oh, I need this and this. Buy oh, you lunch. need it. Here you go, bro. Buy got lunch, you. whatever the case may be. That's yeah. almost every day. Too, yeah, exactly. You, you know, know? And it's, it's not, not like you care. It's yeah. a thing. I'm buying yeah. lunch for me. I'm gonna get some. Yeah, yeah. exactly. One thousand. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's Absolutely. So, um, so I'm learning from you today, but I'm learning seriously because like <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking my psyche, but I don't know the, later down the road how I'm gonna deal with those kind of things. I'm because I'm like an emotional, passionate type of person, so I Same. tend to takes like two or three days for me to get over things like that. Same, man. It hurts too. Yeah. You know what? To be honest, I'm not the easiest to work for uh-huh. because I'm like I like all right. I know you can do better. Uh-huh. You know the way my my pops raised me. This is uh-huh. like one of my favorite stories. Uh-huh. And um, you see, I was in uh, I think it was like eighth grade, freshman, something like that, right? Right. I had won some art contest. And uh, for this one, they flew you out to the capital and all that stuff. Oh, shit. It was, like, kind of cool, right? Yeah. I was kind of excited for it. I went home and told my, my pops. I was like, hey, I just won first place in this art contest. And he was like, well, you should. Ooh. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, no surprise, no yeah, laugh. Like, yeah. He wasn't joking. He yeah, was just like, should, you so should. should. And after that, I was like, oh, shit. And that kind of, like, opened up my mind. Like, yeah, like, first place is okay. Mm-hmm. You know, who cares? I, that's, that's the limit. Mm-hmm. I have to win first place because Damn. not because like, um, you, you know, if you ain't first or last, nothing like that. But um, you know what you're capable of doing. Yeah, you're you potential. know, if you're capable of going first place, why mm-hmm. are you settling for second? You should mm-hmm. be expecting first mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. still push yourself. Yeah, for sure. For you know, sure. I mean, I kind of yeah. instill that you know in my in my uh, apprentices and everything mm-hmm. like that. Um, it's mamba mentality. But for that, like, oh look what I did. Like, yeah, you should be doing that. Damn. You know, and for them, that I know, I can, I, I get it. It kind of hurts, like, yeah. oh, I'm trying my hardest, like, yeah, but I expect Especially even more a, from you. as a kid, it's like, oh, shit, what? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a little discouraging at the moment, but then you real like, you go back and think about it now, and you're like, damn, that shit made me who I am right now, you like, know what I mean? Pretty I, much. Nothing less than first after that, yeah, nothing exactly. less, yeah. I love doing these conventions, as I always go for these, uh, the competitions and everything like mm-hmm. that, but yeah. I want to get first. That's my goal. Sure, absolutely. Like, I expect to come home with that trophy, and if not, it means I didn't try hard enough, means I didn't do something correctly. That means mm-hmm. my design is, is off. Mm-hmm. My placement, something. Something I did wasn't worth right, first. Right. So it's just not a trophy like, hey, look at me. It means I'm on the right track. There you right. go. You know yeah. what I mean? So any success, like, that's cool. And I love, you know, the props and the pats on the back. But yeah. I have my goal. Mm-hmm. And this is just another step in my goal. Yes, absolutely. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm sure, not going to sure. settle for okay or good. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be the best in the city. Mm-hmm. I want to be the best in the world yeah, you know there so you there's That's so good. many more steps but i'm yeah. very like i'm very knowledgeable on mm-hmm. how good i am and how good i'm not yeah i know what i can't do that's self-awareness you know? hell yeah man yeah. you gotta be self-aware man and especially in a profession um you gotta know what you what lane you gotta be in or where, yeah. where you know what i mean not not step into somebody else's lane that's good, man. I, I see a good future for you, man. I, I you seem you, like man. a young cat too, so so pff, nothing but the best, man. Well, that's, that's so young, man. Right? How old are you, man? Thirty five. <laughs> <35. right? laughs> yeah, he's thirty five. Oh, that shit. Yeah. We're yeah. all up there, though, dog. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And that's something that I'm proud of. Is that I mean, I wish obviously if I could go back. Everybody says if I could go back, I would do things different. Of course, you know what I mean. But I'm happy the way it turned out, man. Because sometimes, you know, one of my clients says, you know, God's not gonna give you something that you're not ready for. And I to always think about that. I'm like, when I get down and, you know, I'm like, man, why it, why didn't I do this when I was 25, 26? I think about that and I'm like, I wasn't ready at looking who yep. I was back yep. then. I'm like, there's no way, you know what I mean? There's no way that yeah. I could have been this successful or even on the way to success if I was in that mind frame and shit. So. Yeah, we talk about changing things, but like we honestly, I would never change anything. Uh, then I don't think so either. Who knows? Bro, you know I wouldn't I mean? be here. You know what I mean? From the little things that I changed, who knows? Who yeah, knows? man. All exactly. a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Hell yeah. But um, what are how'd you deal with that? Uh, running the shop on your own, dog. Like, how hard was it financially? Obviously, like you were living in your truck, stuff like that. And how'd you break through that? How'd you get to that next step where it was like? 
Jewish Honestly, Jewish man, Jewish I tell everybody. Everybody asks me like, "Oh, it's your shop?" Like, every, you know, they find out. I says, "No, that's not my shop. It's God's shop. He's letting <laughs> me hold it." Jeez. Oh. You know what I mean? So like, you uh, there's another thing like humbling yourself be- before Cheers everybody. To that, man. Damn. You know what I mean? Like. Honestly. I can be like, oh yeah, it's it's my. Cheers to that, dog. That's like, oh, it's my business. It's my yeah. shop. I run, and I I have to keep that mindset as far as to keep the shop going. But I humble myself to someone else all the time. You know what I mean? Um, it's not mine. It's his. I got to make sure I do it the right way. You know, because if I don't, like I said, he can take it away. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm blessed enough to make it through COVID, man. A lot of business close. A lot of big name artists close their shop. You know, because of COVID. And these are guys that I look up to. You know, a lot of them made it. A lot of them didn't. Yeah. You know, but I'm going to be ready for it. I'm going to just do what I'm supposed to do. Not do what I'm not supposed to do. You know, that's that's just as important. You know what I mean? And just keep my eye on like, all right, I'm going to keep going. Because not only that, I am I feel responsible for everybody that's in my shop. You know what I mean? Not because obviously mm-hmm. I teach them and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But they're looking for a place that they can make money. That they can they can feed their family. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know I got to keep these doors open and all of that. I got to make sure that I am an example for them. If I take two days off, they're that's seeing like, that. Yeah, they see it. You know, if I if I come in late, if I'm not working, if I'm not drawing, if I'm not painting, if I'm not tattooing, if I'm not doing something like that and keeping those like levels of like, this is what success is. Mm-hmm. It's really obvious, right? Because they're they're actively looking at me. It's true. Right? Yeah. I treat one of the guys better than the other. They're going to see it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I try to keep it level. Try to, but it, it's hard. You know what I mean? It's people you click with better, but still try to low, show love for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. And Temporary business and stuff like that. Damn, bro. That's yeah. like some fucking wholesome shit right there, dog. Yeah, no, but that's <laughs> serious. If you can do that, no, no. If you can do that and keep that mindset every single day, you will be a successful entrepreneur. I mean, it's simple. Like, all these words are coming out of his mouth. Yeah. And it takes the action, of course. It takes the action to do this day-to-day walk-to-walk because he's right. I mean, these people are looking at you. The customers are looking at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to come back to a place that has good service, quality, and, you know, the, the rapport is there. So... And have you ever dealt with that, like, disgruntled type of uh, artist, dog, that doesn't necessarily want to f- fit into your like, culture, the culture of your or shop? Or not just that, but just is always against the grain. And you could tell that he's like that wherever he goes. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I have kind of a, a conversation with pretty much everybody who, who starts with me, you know, uh, is that um, there's a hundred different shops out there with a hundred different ways to run their business. You know what I mean? I, I got guys who left. Uh, left me because they um, uh, again I'm a Christian so a Christian shop all I ask is like no demonic stuff you know no upside down crosses no pentagrams and everything like that and all the other shops are cool with it and that's fine you know I wish them nothing but luck but this I don't do that in mind you know what I mean um, I'm not telling you to believe what I believe in but I'm asking you not to make me a part of that you mm-hmm. know what I mean right and I've had guys leave and they say hey man I love you bro uh, I just I want to do this kind of art and everything like cool man nothing but love you know what I mean? If you guys don't like the way that I run this because it's been working for me, mm-hmm. there's all these different shops that are more welcome to you, and you could probably these guys will probably even pay you more, you know, and look at you in a different way and like put you in the pedestal. And that's great, right? You know, it'll be great for you if you feel that you're not growing here. There's other places that do, and I don't mean that in a like, well, then get out of here. Yeah, kind of negative. Kind of I mean, no, man. Here. Like everyone should be in a place where they feel comfortable and they feel welcome. Absolutely. You know. Um, I just try to make that my place, and this mm-hmm. is how I, I vibe. Mm-hmm. You know, and honestly, like, if it's your, if it's your shop, this is your place, it's going to be you. You know what I mean? Everything about it's going to be you, and it's going to be where you find comfort. Right. Right? It's like and your like, second home, yeah, dog. It is. You know what I mean? You got, yeah. It's my house, right? It's your house. Absolutely. Right? So it's got to be your place, your vibe. So if they don't they don't like that, you don't like it, you leave. It's like, no, nah, man. Like, if you don't feel comfortable in here, you should be somewhere, you know, you can be comfortable in. So you, you know? kind of... Sh- Flip it around, not saying like, well, no, we're not, we we don't do that, but like forcing them to stay, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is, you know what I yeah. mean? No. Instead of saying like, like you just said, well, if you don't feel comfortable here, then <laughs> just leave and you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. In a way, like, say, hey man, I will help you find another place. You know, I'll, I will help you out. I'll do everything I can and make you feel comfortable somewhere else. You know, as long as you feel comfortable and you can vibe and you can do your art. You know, as far as me and how I roll, this is how I roll. And I, I would like you guys to be a part of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I tell everybody that I don't need you here either. You know, I've done it by myself. Again, I've lived off, I've lived off of nothing and I, the business is still going. You know, so I, I can sacrifice anything I have to sacrifice 
but I can help out everybody I still yeah. want. I can. And uh, you know, what? I think that's a strength, Doug, because I could definitely say the same thing. You know what I mean? And it's like, I, and I always tell that to my not not that I'm like threatening them or whatever, but it's <laughs> like, dog, I've done this on my own. Like, yep. you're you're the extra, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'm more than capable of doing it on my own, and that's the strength. Mm -hmm. I used to think that was like, damn, bro, it's like two years. I'm I'm still by myself. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. it, but it just gave me strength. You know what I mean? And it keeps learning me, dog. It keeps teaching me, like, damn, like, I did that shit by myself. Sometimes I didn't even know how I did it, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And then now that you have the help, you're like, the ball's rolling and you can start seeing, you know, future things that you want to do. You can start picturing them in your head because it's, yeah. like, clear because you have that weight taken off of you as far as, like, but you get a little bit of breathing room. A little bit of breathing room. Yeah. But there's always still in the back of your head, like, all right, don't get too mm -hmm. comfortable. Yeah. Because... Yeah, some shit always happens. You yeah. gotta be prepared yeah. for that shit. Vic kind of put me in check last week. I was telling him like the apprentice. Uh, he's just young, you know what I mean. And it's, and it's a lot of growing pains, a lot of things. Like I have to pick him up and you know drive, yeah. drive him places, and it's not a big deal, but it's just you know growing pains. And I'm like, you know, maybe I should just like save some money, work because I could do it myself. Maybe I could just work and work and just save money, and then I'll give him a job and then hire him later. And he's like. You do that. That move is a re regress. That's not a progression move. Mm -hmm. That's a regression. I was like, damn, that's so true. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to put it in perspective. And, like, so I'm in this boat with this kid, and I got to fucking make it work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just got to make it work and, and train him and realize that, like, I'm there to help him every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, like, he's not there to help me. I'm there to help him. He's my apprentice. So I'm, like, fuck. Yeah. Switch, flip my script and then just trying to, you know, change the mo motive it's like you're the cherry on top so come with me and then if you need to learn this is what i'm teaching you every day you have a question ask that to me question, it's like you know as long mean? as he keeps showing up yeah exactly you yeah. know what i mean yeah. because like i've had my issues with my apprentice too dog. Yeah. you know what i mean yeah. where i yeah. try to instill certain things and sometimes they be like well why well why mm -hmm. because you know what i mean but <laughs> instead of him like going saying that time like you know what i'm gonna grab my stuff and say fuck it i'm gonna leave out of here he but, comes, you know, he comes back the next day because he's like, at the end of the day, he knows, you know, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. as long as he's there, then I'm I'm willing to teach, teach him. Teach him, yeah, for sure. But it's like, sometimes, you know, we talked about it, you have those people that you get in the, have you ever gotten in a, in a, in a situation where you're like, damn, I need this guy here. So you kind of start dealing with shit that you, yep. you know what I mean? Yeah. That you wouldn't necessarily <laughs> deal with. Like recently, <laughs> like recently, man, mm. um, there was a, an artist that I, Again, I, I love most people, you know, I really love this cat. You know, he was my apprentice a long time ago. He ended up coming back. Um, so I tried to make it extra comfortable for him. You know what I mean? Um, Going out of your way type shit. Yeah. Well, I, I really do try to do that for everybody, you know, but try to reach out to him a little bit more. I mean, he ended up leaving. He's going somewhere where he, again, that he feels he can grow and everything. So I'm, that's cool. But I, yeah, I ended up uh, loosening my reins on certain things opening it up trying to be extra nice but that whole extra niceness was like all right now you're getting walked on mm. you know not now you're like bending over backwards now you're making compromises you know and i didn't see that till it was already too late you know what and you I, know what I mean and like man you like you look back like man it kind of sets us it sets learn, the tone learning, it's a learning, learning. Yeah. 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 yeah but it sets the tone for them already thinking like oh i can leave then like he needs me type shit yeah. you know what i mean yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it kind of in the back of their head they're already thinking like well I, when i leave when it's time to leave it's gonna be no problem because look how he look how nice he's now he's yeah, being yeah. now you know what i mean and it's easier for them to leave i think but in our minds we're, we're giving everything we we're like we're giving everything thinking that damn this guy's giving me everything i gotta give everything back that's what we're thinking in our minds yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah but like it doesn't you don't it can't it expect that, that from people yeah. you can't expect that from people you can only give and not, and you know hope Again, for the best hope for the, the best i did my part yeah exactly. i'm just hoping he doesn't and if yeah. it doesn't mm -hmm. It didn't, so mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that hurt. But I'm like, I can still go. There you go, go and, and that's the you part know? that that would you, you need to kind of uh, as an entrepreneur be able to deal with is yeah. getting through that. Okay, it happened. All right, now let's move on. You know what I mean? Like learn from it and move on. Yeah. Not like dwell. Oh, I'm gonna close up the shop or all oh, this that. No, it's like no, nah, I gotta keep yeah. going. I gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? So like, I mean, shit. I think like, it's I think it's hard because like. When you have the location, dog, and somebody leaves, mm -hmm. you do count. You do count on them, oh, and it's, it's not like off. Oh, I gotta close down shop now, but it's like, mm -hmm. damn. Uh, now I gotta do an extra. Honestly, it feels like like starting over. It does yeah. every yeah. time because I mean, you got an apprentice, you got that apprentice. You put so much time and effort into this one person, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And trying to mold them and everything, and uh, they leave. Give them the so best of your that, tools. Give all them that the time that I spent on them is mm -hmm. gone. 
Mm -hmm. Now I got to start over again, and mm -hmm. then over and over. And then you gave him yeah, some yeah. tricks of the trade too that you learned. You yeah. know what I mean? Through yeah. years and years of experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I had a, a personal moment with myself again, thinking about that, thinking yeah. about like it doesn't matter what they do as long as I do my part, right, do the right exactly, thing. Yeah, uh -huh. is that? Um, uh, shit, I lost my. But like karma, it comes back. Like they, they'll they'll know. Like later in life, they'll be like, you it's know energy you, you that guy out. treated me right. That guy yeah. treated me right. You know what I mean? Well, Regardless, you, I gotta find joy in the fact that I help somebody else. Right. You know, regardless of what they do after, I was happy teaching them and I was right. happy 100%. seeing them like discover something that they couldn't do before. Hell yeah. So that's, that's, the truth. that's my happiness. And regardless of what they do, if they leave or whatnot, like at least I had part of that. Hell yeah. You know, and man, God bless them, man. You Absolutely. know, what I mean? that's the truth. So I'm still going to try to find joy in my teaching and my doing yeah. everything like that, regardless of what they react to. Yeah, honestly, my, my uh, prince is pretty humble. Like, he, uh, and then he acts humble throughout the day. I mean, that's his MO, basically. He's uh, cutting at the cutting board like this, and then I could hear the clients like, wow, who, Chef Clay, this is really good. What, what This new recipe is good. And I was like, it's Joey all day. And you could see him, like, smile. Like, yeah, he wouldn't move. Yeah. He didn't budge, but you could see him smile. And I was like, that's that shit right there. Just you know that, I mean? though. Like, yeah. yeah, just that's that. that shit oh, right that's there. Like, that, yeah. That's what I think any artist lives for, bro. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's for their, not their work to be completely like, look at me. Yeah, just somebody appreciated. Yeah. Like, their point of view, their style, their flavor. Yeah, exactly, for sure. Man. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. For sure, for sure. So, yeah, you're right, man. So as you train the apprentice or that person you're training, like, that's the, that's the enjoyment. That's the time because you never know what's going to happen the next day. You know, they can yeah. leave. You know, they could realize that that's not their profession. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not really down for this profession anymore. And Because he actually told me, like, my friend is like, this is my passion in a way, but, like, my real passion is realty and I want to do this. And all of a sudden you can talk for hours about that. I'm like, damn, dude. I don't know. You could be passionate about two different things like that, but okay. You know what I mean? Like, that's cool. So eventually one day maybe he might leave, but I like that training aspect of it and growing, helping and seeing them grow. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, like their joy is your joy. In a way. Absolutely, yeah. dude. Straight up. And like, I, so th like talking to Vic that one day kind of just flipped my script and it flipped my view too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? On, on the whole aspect of it. Not an employee and not a, um, you know, if he's late, it's like, fucking motherfucker it's just like you know what i mean like let's get it you know what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. i'm always just like let's it's get about it. the let's solutions dog you know what i mean yeah. my mm -hmm. old boss used my first the first owner i worked for dog he was i didn't learn a lot from this guy <laughs> i learned like what not to do because he was like you know yeah. but he was cool dude he was yeah. cool he just wasn't a good businessman yeah but he did uh teach me one thing is like you work on the solutions man because we would always like have issues you know what i mean because you know it was like a halfway shop he wasn't really putting a lot of money into mm -hmm. it so we'd f we'd fall into these situations where like dude we need this like to run yeah to keep going and i'd get upset because i was a manager and like yo you, you're the owner man you need to you know i shouldn't be telling you to invest all right what do we need to do let's work on the solution let's work on the solution <laughs> i'm like kind of defer <laughs> me from like what yeah, the actual yeah. problem was but then nice. i start thinking we start thinking like okay Together, brainstorming you know, we need some seating oh i can't afford that right now playboy but look let's go on craigslist let's go let's yeah. see what we can find and we would do it like that dog you know what i mean so i think that helped me too and just building somebody else's shit up with halfway investment from them kind of trained me to be like all right if they were half invested i was more invested than they was and i could definitely do myself you 1, know 000. what i mean hell yeah hell yeah you can see it like that and that in itself is a blessing right that this that your ex-boss wasn't as on it which forced you to step up and forced you to look at things that he didn't see and right. so you're not right now you're on your own business and you know what to do you're seeing things that people didn't see exactly right so him you helping him out so much benefited you yeah. More than oh yeah, him. yeah, yeah, bro. And, but I mean, right. like during the time, I was like, man, this guy, da, 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 you <laughs> know, like shitting on this fool. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm realizing, like, just as you said, it's like a, it's a blessing, man, that I, I can learn that skill and shit. Just like you were, you know what I mean, Costco dog, all that customer service, being by the book. I'm yeah. sure you worked at, you know, other tattoo shops when you was coming up that kind of like taught you yeah. both yeah. the do's and don'ts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was a high strung type of person, so Costco and the corporate atmosphere kept me like down, like. Put that in a box, fool. And then I learned how to control it rather than just always be like high strong. You know what I mean? Right on. Yeah. I was 12 years at a corporate spot, bro. How the fuck I last that long? I don't know, man. I don't know. But it worked out. It was very, it was, it was worked out. Yeah, corporate world is crazy, dog. Teach me, te taught me a lot, bro. Taught me a lot. But uh, what are new goals that you have, bro, for, for your business, man? What's something that you want to strive for? Do you feel mm. like, you know, well, well, there's a question that we have. Do you feel like you broke through? like it, when where you're at right now personally like so, i would say just looking in yes yeah. you know what i mean but that's your own opinion of what breaking through is to you so i kind of had like a uh, like i said this is like another step in my 
you know, everything I do is kind of another step, uh, putting stu- other stuff off and all that and stuff like that. But uh, business-wise, I'm really liking the crew that I have. You know, one good thing I've been able to do is kind of get the right type of people around me, right? One of the best thing I did was hiring my brother. You know what I mean? Andy. Uh, Andy. He runs that shit the way that he knows that I like to, right? And then always helps out, puts the extra time. You know, that guy has just as much love for this place that I do, man. Nice. I love this cat. You know, not just because he's my brother, but even as a human being, just amazing, right? He's a good nice. dude. Great, great for Shout the Shout out Andy, man. Right? So not only that, like the people around me, these guys have love for art. You know, they want to be better, and they're, they're not okay with just being okay. So love it. So what I've told these guys is that I'm not training you for a job. I'm training you for a passion. You know, something that's going to keep pushing you. You're never going to be satisfied. Right. You don't want to put that into them. As long as they have that into them, they're going to keep getting better. Because they're also not okay with just being okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So while I'm pushing myself, I see what they're doing. You're Michael Jordan right now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> In the last dance and shit. Yeah, right? I'm like, I'm going to feel like I'm like a Steph Curry. <laughs> oh, okay. So right. like, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to bring out the best in everybody, yeah. which makes me be better. Yeah. Well, while he's, shoot, I mean? while he's shooting threes, though. While he's while shooting threes. He's <laughs> <those>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. While, while he's leading <laughs> that shit. Um, these guys are pushing themselves. These guys are putting in the time and effort, which like, oh, man, I'm not going to let them outwork me. Yeah. You know? But not by bringing them down. It's like, oh, I'm going to keep pushing you, which makes me push myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, my work has come out better lately. The standard you know? keeps just keeps getting yeah. higher and higher and yeah. higher. Yeah, that mm-hmm. bar is never set. The bar keeps going up. So I, I got a question, dude. So like, uh, when you were, uh, you said you just barely bought the shop, or you run the shop, and you had to like live in the shop or in yeah. your car. So in those moments, man, you really don't know what the next day is going to come or the next week, next year. What was your goal in that moment? Like you're like, you know what? I want to be at this moment. You know that that'll be that. Time. Yeah, my goal is never. Since the day I started tattooing, yeah. I I walked into. Uh, to the shop uh, house of pain at the time mm-hmm. and no knowing it wasn't a question again i'm very obvious in what i do and don't know right mm-hmm. i know i'm the bottom i know that these guys are way ahead of me mm-hmm. right and then i give them all the love and support and then like yo teach me right or don't teach me i'm still gonna learn from you mm-hmm. yeah you know what i mean so that i, I can't proactively proactive. trying to learn yeah yeah so i'm okay with i'm not no, no. i want to keep getting better always right so right now my goal is to uh, I mean, I got my foot foot in it a little bit. You know, I've, they, they flown me out a couple times, you know, different companies, you know. I made it to um, uh, China. That was pretty cool. Uh, like five-star five uh, hotels kind of all that shit. What was that convention called? Uh, I forgot what it was, man. It was it was quite a bit ago. It was like before COVID and everything. Oh, okay. Um, but that, then, was, that was crazy, man. Like, I've and seen... Then we were yeah. talking about you were on Ink Masters too, right? Yeah, the, yeah. Ink Master go. was cool. Ink yeah. Master was all right. Um, like I was saying earlier is that I can't believe i'm still getting like noticed from it from it yeah i mean it was so long ago it'd be like oh you're on ink master right like oh yeah yeah i mean for a little <laughs> while mean, they, they, got, got, they got they got reruns <laughs> i'm gonna like, go watch it now you break out the sharpie automatically you're like, you're like what? Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest too man my my best time i feel like the most pride like mm-hmm. oh man that's so awesome is that people hear about my shop like they know me like oh man you're mad whatever that's cool but they hear about blue pandas oh, i heard blue pandas awesome Oh, I heard all the work coming out of Blue Panda is amazing. Yes. You know yeah, what I mean? And that's the, like, oh, man, you know? Yeah. Because you're like the core to it. Now you know that it, you've touched every artist in there that that's like kind of like all of it's your work, really. You know what I mean? Kinda, in a way, to me. I, yeah, I like seeing it that way as far as like I can see my influence in everybody. You know, but not only in their work, but the work ethic. Mm-hmm. You know, how they treat their clients and everything like that. I find more pride in that. People will say like, oh, Blue Panda is known for being clean. You know, Blue Panda is known for being on point. Blue Panda is known for all this stuff. So I want to keep that up. So you it's went, cool from, vibe. You went yeah. from being an artist to being an, like an entrepreneur business type person. Because, I mean, that's that's the aspect you're, you're portraying, really. Like you want them, like seeing them um, succeed is what gives you yeah. the, the that yeah, satisfaction. That makes me the happiest. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in turn, it's obviously your business with Blue Panda, you know, succeeding. And, and, yeah, yeah. and that's the like video game you're winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. So. That's what I love. I love. That's badass. I man. myself like love putting out original arts and all that stuff. But I find honestly, I find a lot of joy in the teaching. You know, yeah. uh, and I f- same way, dude. Same yeah. shit, dude. Same. <laughs> it's kind of like we, chef, we, we just want to. And that, I think to me, that's the hardest part of finding that crew that you mm-hmm. have. Like, uh-huh. you know, obviously right now it's you don't see anybody leaving or everybody's, you know, close. Mm-hmm. How long did it take you to build that? Like that that vibe? And yeah, shit. honestly, it, man, it never stops building. It never starts stops changing. As soon as one other person comes in or one person leaves, the whole vibe of the shop changes. Mm-hmm. You know, I've had different uh, set crews. 
you know but mm. there people are consistently leaving coming going stuff like that that's kind of the, the tattoo world and what do you consider a you set know? crew like how long do they have to stay there for or be there or no be it a honestly part? just gets a vibe and like oh man nobody's left for a little while this is how things are going you see it you see it kind of moving you're like okay so like everything changes like everyone's age is different i had an older crew now i have a younger crew you know uh but you kind of have a change to that you know what i mean you can't change what i've learned too is you can't treat every artist or every crew the same way you know, they all have different um, uh, responsibilities in their own lives. The most of my shop right now, they most of them don't have kids. Most of them don't have that type of responsibility. Some of them do, you know, but you got to adjust to that as well. True. You know what I mean? So right now, I really like what's going on, man. I like the the potential of the shop right now. The potential is actually what gets me really excited. You know what I mean? So it makes me stay on point and I'd have to keep growing. Not only grow as an artist, but grow as an owner. An owner. You know what I mean? And that honestly has been pretty hard. You know, I mean, it continues to be hard because it continues changing to me, you know? So I'm just trying to keep on that and making sure I give everybody their just attention, you and know? But like, oh, I, f I have some attention over here. Now I've got to draw over here. And I was telling you earlier, you know, 12, 13, 14 hour sessions, I mean, I'm behind the needle all day, you know? <sighs> but in the back of my head, like I'm being a great artist, right? But I'm not being a good teacher, mm -hmm. right? Because I'm not over there with them, you know? But then I'm over here teaching and like, oh, I'm not being a good artist. You know what I mean? So there's never enough time in the day, but yeah. having the good people who look out for each other, you know, and having the backing that you have around the shop does help a lot. Mm, you know what I mean? So sure, you're man. able to be like, man, I don't have to worry about this aspect because mm -hmm. I know this cat's got it. Yeah, it's cool you know? that you have your brother there too, Dom. I'm sure 100%. like, so I mean, does he handle like a, the more, the business side of it? Because I'm sure, I'm sorry, like you're, you're, you're pretty much handling the artist and the teaching mm -hmm. part of it. But like the numbers, the sales, the uh, fucking LLC, the business accounts and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, how, yeah man. How it's helped a lot because when I started, I was doing all of it, right? I was still going to get supplies at, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning so I can be back by 10 to do my drawing, to get the tattoo done, to do all this and still getting track of the teaching and everything. So it was a lot, mm. right? Having him ha around has definitely helped out a lot, man. Yeah, again, he, he sees stuff I don't. Right. You know, and again, it's really cool to have a good crew because you can trust in other people, you know, and that trust means like, oh, I don't have to worry about that part. So what, what would you say the keys are to building a good crew? Um, like minded people. You like, know, I saw something where like you don't see lions going around with hyenas. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, lions are in a pride and they all hunt at mm -hmm. the same aspect. Right. They're all trying to go after that same goal. Mm -hmm. So you got to su uh, surround yourself with people who are like-minded. Right. You know, don't get me wrong, not the same mind, you know, you yeah. want new new energy, yeah. you want different aspects or different views on stuff, uh -huh. you know, to push you. Yeah. You know, but what like the what type I, of person is still someone who's gonna keep going forward and not again yeah not driven, okay yeah with and okay. that's what me and vic have in common too is like yeah. we don't really mesh that much you know i mean we don't hang out like but we are driven you know what i'm saying yeah. we're both driven we want to succeed in life so we're just going to do whatever it takes you know what i'm saying like honestly sure. seen vic since he opened this place man yeah. he's like go 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 go, go. <laughs> yeah you know what i mean yeah. he has yeah. some, he's you've had something in talk your head talk, you're like walk the walk you worked at a different place yeah man i yeah. was there when uh, he was learning you yeah. know i remember when you yeah, were like, bro, you like cutting up the, for the first time and like hey man give you know, i just need to practice i need this and that and grateful every time every that's step of the way he's never been not grateful that's what's up for everything and seeing his place now is just like man like, i love your spot bro. i that's appreciate what's up. you that's what's up. and, and i appreciate up. your hard work bro. no for yeah. sure man that's something like dog like it just comes naturally to me, bro, and because of the passion, though. You know what I mean? I fell in love with this shit. Like you said, I would hand out cuts in the beginning because, like, I wanted to practice. I would pull better. up, bro. Like, <laughs> I would, hey, you need, I can't make it. I'll pull up to you, dog. Just let me cut you up for free. I remember cutting this dude up at his shop where I guess it was, like, you mm -hmm. in the beginning stages of it, so it wasn't open, so I cut you up in the office or whatever. Yeah. And... Yeah, bro, it was like, to me, I was like, look, I'm fucking cutting up a tattoo artist in his spa in the office, like... At that moment, it was so small, but to me, it was huge. You know what I mean? Just having that shot to be like, yeah. oh, shit, like a traveling barber or whatever. And then you built off of that. And then I get built big off of that, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, get to a shop, and then you're you're at a shop. You're kind of, you know it's not yours, so you're all evidently uh, not liking the situation because, you know, like you said, you don't have those, what did uh, what'd you say, uh, like-minded people. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's hard to find that, though. I think we've had a lot of ups and downs with that dog and it's hard to find that i think because i'm so fluid i can get along with anybody you know what i yeah. mean but like those close i don't have a lot of those close people where i do truly one-on-one -on -one vibe with you know what i mean because i'm so fluid in a crowd i'm like yeah 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 with any crowd 
But once you get me one on one, it's kind of hard to be like, all right, dog, like, boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it closed off a little bit. You know what I mean? Just because of like certain situations and shit like that. But definitely something that I am learning off of and building and hearing this, hearing, you know, my boy giving me, no, nah, you can't be like that. Oh, you're constantly telling me that's ego. That's ego. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, that's. And then you saw this cat like do interviews and stuff like that. Like that's your natural vibe right there, dude. Like you say, you're fluid. But when you start interviewing people, like. And that's just, just yeah, something yeah. that I, that's new to me that I've yeah, like. Yeah start to have the passion yeah. for it all, you know yeah. what i mean it's like damn i need to get out there more i need to for sure. make we, more we should, time we for that make you more, know what i mean do, do more of those for sure yeah, honestly dude. when you started doing the podcast <clears throat> i was like that makes sense, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah no shit dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah no shit that's that's badass bro um are we on the eight to educate yeah we have a few questions though it's the eight to educate it's uh yeah. eight questions that we ask every entrepreneur that comes in here and just kind of get their uh, their aspect and what they're thinking of or whatever. So, early girl, er, have do you have any early goals that you've met? And obviously, I mean, in my case, like I said, looking in, yes, but yeah, man, honestly, okay, um, kind of the same uh, aspect of like what you're saying is about you cut people up for free because you want to learn, right? You want to get your. For me, it was going to these conventions. I'd bring one of my homies with me. I tattoo him day one, right? We work on a sleeve little portrait whatever right but it, it'd be all day mm -hmm. i know i'm not making money that day mm -hmm. but i just wanted to get my name out there right nice so you get the buzz going you get mm -hmm. the buzz going it's like so a convention's friday saturday sunday uh tattoo them on a friday the slow day right you, good tattoo you're gonna have everybody looking at you bro you know and because of that because of like, hey man look what i did you know yeah <laughs> kind of kind of pimp yourself out a little bit <laughs> yeah, like yeah. people get to know you and people that oh who's it's your this brand guy? it's your who's product you know still to this day one of his tattoos actually the first one it was a, a um a western tattoo right i did it up here uh, john wayne oh, sure. i still have other artists like hey you did that john wayne long time ago Dang. Right? Like, oh man <laughs> <laughs> i have other tattoos man yeah, <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> yeah. but cool. one of my first goals was that just i need to get my name out there i need a uh uh what's it called uh, um market market you yeah. know market yourself out there and everything so that's when i started winning these awards and i i again i still saw the awards even when i started was this is just nice uh, like a, saying that i'm on the right track a milestone milestone yeah you nice, know? Dude, so nice. every milestone yeah. i get to i try not to be uh complacent with it mm -hmm. i'm like oh look what i did no it says no 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 okay You're on the this right is path. just the next step yeah the next step so regardless of what i accomplished i'm very thankful and grateful for that uh -huh. but it's still the next step yeah that's why you know it's not, it, not at my goal uh, t just so everybody knows as soon as i met matt before i said what's up he i said damn that's a nice car he said i'm blessed <laughs> yeah that's the truth man all these things that come all these material things come that come it's just blessings from god man because like we're just doing the god's work you know what i mean like i'm working hard to do it, giving my graces to god and then these things come you know what yeah, I mean? Man, yeah. and again i am blessed man like yeah. that's been my my dream car for for over like 15 years man. That's what's up, man. Well, congratulations on thank that you, man for sure you, man. congratulations on that what, is it, can, uh, what you got bro what are you pushing uh, <laughs> it's a um uh challenger Hell hellcat challenger <laughs> hellcat yeah it does uh what's red seven shit. seven seven hundred and seventeen horsepower Damn. still haven't opened it up i haven't done anything crazy you just cruising what, in what, it right now i just i like it man yeah, it's man. just i, I feel bet. comfortable yeah. it's like <laughs> I, feel yeah. Yeah. I would too i would too but uh, I, I could be like, oh man, look what I got. You know, nah, so, nah. no, you know what? Thank you, God. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing what I gotta do. Exactly. This is just another step to what I gotta be. So I'm very grateful and thankful for this car. Oh, yeah. But it's not my identity. No, you know, it doesn't make me a better person. Doesn't like, mean like that. He pulled up in it uh, Father's Day, dog, at the family function. He pulled oh, up in it. Yeah. Nobody knew. One of the uncles was like, "You got a new car, right?" Let's go check it out. <laughs> so everybody went out there to go check it out. He didn't even like. What's up? He was just like, ah, stop. <laughs> But uh, this uh, no question number two, dog is: uh, Are you in control of your own destiny? You have to be. You have to be. You can't let anybody else control. Again, you can't let anybody else define your your success, uh -huh. right? And uh, or change your attitude, like you were saying before. Like, you can, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's there's that uh, uh, Beatles song. Uh, I think it's called Yeah Across the Universe. You seen that movie? Mm, right. No. Well, one of the main things is just that uh, they sing it like nothing's gonna change my world. Right in the beginning, it's really easy because everything's nice and everything's chill. Mm -hmm. But uh, a riot goes on; things are getting crazy. You know, the world is changing around you. Right. You got to remind yourself that nothing's gonna change my world. Mm. Right. I'm not gonna give up any part of me, you know, because I'm getting a little bit of success mm -hmm. or anything like that. I still gotta keep going. Yeah. Right. Definitely. So you're in charge of your destiny. 
as God allows it. Oh, yes. You know absolutely. what I mean? If God's going to let me keep going, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. You know? Um, I like that. Yeah. And I'm still going to help out every single person that I can, whether they do me wrong or I, they do me right, whatever. I'm still going to try to help, help out everybody, love everybody. And that is what, that's my success. Yeah, man. Is that I can still keep going and not have hate. That's you know good, what I mean? Good, so good. everything else, all the material shit, like that's great. But that's my success. Like I've talked about good, the, good you know, being positive and loving, dog. And, you know, I've talked about how a lot of people, especially me, because I wasn't always like that. You know what I mean? I'm just recently, I mean, these past three years, I've been trying to practice that. Because <laughs> it does take practice, dog. You yeah. Know? We're talking about Don't practice. Don't get wrong. It's not easy. Practice. Practice. Yeah. Yeah. Those thoughts yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like what? God yeah. bless you, man. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you're still doing it. That's practice. Yeah, man. bro. So, you know what I mean? Um, it's because you, you're talking about you're still doing that. Like, you're, you're in the process of being being that in the person. Yeah, so, like, okay. So, yeah. I, do you run into those people where kind of, they, you can feel the energy. They're, like, kind of like, man, this guy's corny as fuck. Like, or yeah. Over positive. You know what I mean? And how do you handle that? Uh, Kill with kindness. Man. God bless you. Yeah, <laughs> God bless you. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's all you can do, man. Yeah. Um, because everyone has their their opinion. You can't even hate on that. You know, like they were raised a certain way. They've experienced different things. So the my positivity or the way I treat people, they can't comprehend it. Mm. They don't get it. You know what I mean? There's people that leave my shop and get. Not, I've said I'm not easy to work for because of my my standards. They leave the shop pissed off at one thing or another. Or like I hate the way he did this, or he was too controlling about this. They leave. Right, a year later, whatnot. Like, man, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Everything that bugged you bugs me now. Yeah. I see it in other artists, and they're lazy. They're this or that, or they don't. They see it, and like, man, you're you're onto something, bro. Yeah. You're onto something. And like, all right, cool. You know, I was on the right track. So I could be like, man, I'm not doing it the right way, or like, maybe I'm too corny. Maybe I'm not. You know, the world is so rough, and the world, especially the tattoo world. Um, everybody's really blunt, mm -hmm. you know, because everyone's their own boss, right? They don't really, they don't really hold their tongue. Mm -hmm. You know, but all I can do is like, all right, man, this has been working for me, so I'm gonna keep at it. I'm gonna grow. Don't get me wrong; I've been growing along with it, but I still have to wish everybody luck. I have to still have to go out of my way to help people. And do you feel like that's the that's been the longer path because you were not so cutthroat? Like you could easily be shitting on other, like yo, they suck. Yeah. I'm better. Da, da, da. You know what I mean? How do you feel? You know, like that like, like, nice guys finish last type shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Man. Situation. I. Uh, don't get wrong, there's times when, like, man, you, I probably, like, messed up to somebody. Or whatever. But if I am, I can't sleep at night. I legit can't sleep at night. I'm like, man, I should have done it better. Then I wake up the next morning apologizing. Yep. You know what I mean? And that in itself is not easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you, you know, go regardless of how I feel I was right, maybe I went about it the wrong way. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to show everybody love and, like, at least the proper respect. L let me know? ask you, man, though, like, what's your influence? Because, like, your whole outlook on life is great. And, like, I... Basically, when I was basically like three years ago, I had to like start reading and meditating and, and like changing my mind from kindness is the way to, to be not this high strung person and stuff like that. So it, it took me an inner inner me to actually read and do things actively to change. But like, where's your influence to be that type and have that outlook? I know you said God for sure. And other than your family, bro, yeah. you know what I mean? Cause yeah. um, I feel like my, my family and everyone, you know, that raised me. They did it with love. They uh -huh. did it the right way, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd be doing them a disservice, you know. If I'm if I didn't do what they taught me to be, mm -hmm. that's showing them that I didn't listen to them. That's good, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> like my, my my grandparents on both sides, man. Like yeah, that's awesome. Uh, they showed me hard work. You know, they showed me uh, be correct and all that. You know, so I'm not gonna go off of that because of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Don't worry, and I've learned from every single person. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, Every influence I had, people that um, are not family that mm -hmm. helped me out. There was one cat, um, I was actually saving money to start the shop, right? Uh, it was an artist, not an artist. He was a, he was a client that came in. I tattooed him a couple times. Really nice guy. I had nowhere to nowhere to stay. Mm -hmm. Again, I was staying in my, my truck. He's like, hey man, you could live with me. Like I have a spot, I have a, I have a room open. I barely knew knew him. The dude opened up his 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 home to me. Wow. You know what I mean? Like man, like. God and still it, put these people in your life, man. Yeah, yeah for real. Yeah. And then I'm here tattooing him like this, right? And I had a uh, client come over, and um, uh, just told him what I was doing. Like I'm trying to save money for the shop, you know, trying to live the right way and everything. This dude, kind of his art after paying full price for the tattoo, a uh, thousand dollar tip. You know, it's like, hey man, build your dream, build your dream, man. Damn. Oh my God, damn. You see, like this people gonna be put in your life, man. You mm. do things the right way, you. Um, you live the right way, 
God is gonna good put those people in your and life. You know what's crazy, and those bro? Are the blessings. It's usually like the unexpected yeah. ass people, yeah, yeah. dog. Like, like this guy right here, <laughs> dog. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say this proof five is because I met you guys. Like in this, like I'm just like every day like meeting good people because I've changed my life three years ago. So things are just I'm paying it forward with the podcast. Hopefully somebody listens to it and says, you know what, I can do it too. Clay did it, Vic did it, you know, Matt did it. I could do it too. So that's my way of paying it forward, you know what I'm saying? Because I've had so many blessings come my way from changing my life to this positivity, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of it, do you feel, comes from your faith, dog? You know what I mean? Growing up, yeah. I know you were, your your dad was hardcore, like. Yeah, my, um, my dad wasn't. Tell the a story easiest. about that, dog. You know? Yeah, my dad wasn't easiest to, to grow up with. Very um, cut and dry. What's right is right. You know, be a man, uh, no excuses. So that. I still carry on to this day, regardless of how hard it was growing up, there is no excuses for not doing your best. Mm -hmm. There's no excuses for being late to work. Right. You know, there's no excuses for not doing your extra time. So why? Because you value sleep more mm -hmm. or you value like playing video games more. You value this other shit more than other people's time. Mm -hmm. You know, I have, I have a client on my list. That's not just, hey, I'm making money. That's me like dedicating a part of my life to this dude. Right, right. You know, in the design, I can throw something together. And have it ready in like an hour, mm -hmm. you know, and be, oh, yeah, that's an okay tattoo, mm -hmm. you know, and make money. I'm fine. Or I can do the, what he, what I told him I was going to do, mm -hmm. right? And then I spend days doing his design, weeks doing his design until it's perfect, until it's something that I'm excited for, it's something that he deserves and something he's paying for. Right, right, right. You know, so I'm going to put every effort into every single tattoo. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm busy doing uh, 12, 16 hour sessions, it's hard to find that time. But I'll go ahead and do this this all day session, be exhausted, go home, eat something, and get behind that drawing desk. You know what I mean? Because tomorrow there's gonna be a dude who uh, is expecting the same amount of effort that I put in the guy oh, before. Oh yeah, Damn. most definitely. Dog. Right. That's so every good single dope. day, man, it's so draining. Man, it's so draining. Yeah, but that's not his fault. Yeah. You know? that's, that's something that's been lost and it's it's called craftsmanship you know what i mean it's like like loving your art and do, refining it and doing everything you can to make sure it's the best tip-top quality you know what i mean like yeah badass man Dude, kudos I, to you i do I, charge a little bit more than, than other people i'm not, yeah, no, I'm not the most to, expensive in town right but if this guy's paying his hard-earned money and taking time off work time away from family whatever he's got to do mm -hmm. i owe it to him mm -hmm. I, or her you know what I, mean? I owe it to my client yeah and it's like we talk about that forever that, uh, it's forever, dog. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't you don't want to have the client walk away and for not even one little bit be like, oh, it's cool, but I don't like this part right here. Or I don't like, you know what I yeah. mean? You just want to walk away like, damn, this whole shit is sick, you know? Yeah. I don't want any part of my tattoo to be an accident. Yeah. I don't want anything to be like, oh, that and turned out okay. Yeah. Says, no, I know how it's going to turn out because not only did I design it, but if it was something I wasn't like uh, fully ready to do as far as style, mm -hmm. I'm practicing just the style. You know, wow. I might have to practice my blends a little bit more or something like that. So I'm doing that separate mm -hmm. just to be better for them. Wow. You know, I, yeah. I feel like I'm, I have to earn the money, not just by doing the tattoo, but by everything behind it. You know, that's fucking Damn, badass, bro. man. Thanks. Dude. Yeah, yeah, thanks. I'm I inspired. Like I'm, dog. A, I'm inspired. I'm a, <laughs> like uh, being put on game right now. Dog. <laughs> there's one like for the <laughs> like for the doctor. When I go, when I walk in, basically, I have the month set up of what protein, what starch and what um, yeah. vegetable I need to cook for that day. So. I work a lot, so like this one I take on as like chop. So like I'll walk in, I know what's in the pantry, I know what's in the refrigerator, and I'll just kind of go at it and make something. You know what I mean? Like, but from your aspect, I mean I should be days ahead planning on that recipe. You know, figuring out which recipe I'm gonna bring to them, make sure I have all the ingredients, and make sure that I have all the tools to be able yeah. to. You know what I mean? So I'm inspired right I gotta now. Start I'm, fucking I'm fucking inspired right now. Drawing my cuts out yeah, first yeah, shit yeah, before yeah, I do them. Yeah, 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 straight up, straight up, man. You want it like this, dog? Yeah, I know you book your appointment for next week, but I just want to say, what kind of a haircut? Just yeah. was it the same? Yeah, that, that way know. they get in the chair and boom, yeah, boom, it's ready yeah, to go. Yeah, yo. Yeah. I try to, honestly, too, I try to find out what kind of person they are. Uh -huh. You know, they may come at you with an idea, like, uh -huh. oh, I want to do this. Okay, why do you want that, though? So, oh, because, you know, it blew up over here. Like, all right, that's cool for them, man. You're going to have to live with this. Yeah. You know, so what kind of person are you? Do you want it to be like a strong vibe? Do you want it to be uh, mellow, right? Because you can have like, oh, I want a rose with a, with a clock on it. That's very common, right? Right. What's it for? You know, is it for someone to dedicate to someone? Is it someone who's living, someone who's passed? Are you trying to look tough or are you trying to be sensitive? Mm -hmm. You know, and all that little aspects that... Uh, other people don't ask mm -hmm. you know trying right. to find out what they what they want so let me mm -hmm. ask you this yeah. like are you at the point right now where you're like nah, i don't i don't think that's good for you because <laughs> another artist would be like what this is what you want 
slap it on there, do it. And any placement, anywhere. Yeah, I'm I'm very okay with, with not denying a tattoo, but not doing a tattoo just for the money. You know, I want them to be happy with it forever. Right. You know, to be like 20 years from now, it's like, man, that, that touches here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or maybe just something cool and something clean. You know, but I'm not after the money. The money is great and it comes with it and everything like that, but the art... Uh, a successful art piece is is expressing the feeling correctly, right? In tattoos as well, in, in a good cut, in a good food, right? Whatever you're trying to express, if they're feeling what you're feeling, right, that's a successful piece. And if they don't, then you failed. Oh, yes. You oh, know? yes. I don't want to fail in anything I do, and I don't want to fail in my art, and I want to fail for them. Yeah. <laughs> You're a deep ass motherfucker. Yeah, but that's like, but that's like Kobe though. That's like Kobe though. He's yeah, always striving nah. for, 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 for perfection, yeah. right? And if you're always striving for perfection, like you're leaving everybody in the dust every time. You know what I mean? You're not going to reach it. I, I don't think people uh, misconceive what Kobe was trying to say. Like, he's not trying to be perfect. He was just striving, striving for it every for single it. day. You know what I mean? And damn, that's fucking That pretty. puts you at the level like that separates you from everybody else, dog. It's Hell like yeah. Not settling at all for anything, right. you know what yeah, I mean? Not just settling. pushing, pushing for that. Yeah, there's no reason. Time. There's no excuses. There's no reason. Mm -hmm. Like I said, no reason to be late. Like you know what I mean? There's no reason to. That's fucking dope, dog. Because yeah, that makes me real. want. Because you know what I mean? Twelve cuts a day sometimes, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah. That eighth, ninth one, I'm like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. but I, you still gotta be on it and shit. And I can definitely yeah. work on that, man. So thank you for that, yeah, shit, yeah, dog. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We all can, right? You know, come on now. Question number four: What or who inspires you, man? Um, could be a person or a place or a thing. Like last week's guest, Shit. this boy got it on right. He <laughs> said LeBron James, and he was yeah, like, like no "Yeah, way, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah." Honestly, uh, every time I see a, another tattoo that somebody in Europe did, or somebody in Cali, or someone in New York does, I'm like, "Man, that's amazing." At the same time, I'm trying to break it down and see how they did it, mm -hmm. or how they approached it, or how they drew it. Do you, you watch know, a lot of you're inspired by other art like other artists and, yeah, and their it, work as yeah. far as my my artwork yeah mm -hmm. i'm trying to look at every aspect of what they're doing mm -hmm. not only that i'm looking at okay this guy posts a lot of like he's going hiking mm -hmm. or he's doing meditation or he's doing all this stuff so it's a whole mindset that, that he kind of approaches life to. absolutely so okay so that's more of a mindset that you have to go with mm -hmm. you know what i mean so what if not anything having to do with tattooing mm -hmm. you know but what if i need to stop doing this True. or stop doing that you know, or like stop going again. I don't really go out too much. I don't go to that much because. So you're inspired. That's cool, but it doesn't benefit me. Mm -hmm. You're, you're yeah. inspired like by the plight of an artist, like every yeah man. Yeah. Um, the way he goes makes the artist tick. Like, yeah man. You, know, like, you look shit. at any great artist like in the past, in in the history. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're either tweaked a little different. You know, they march to the beat of their own drum. Oh, yeah, like, unique. Yeah, <laughs> like, man, that guy was weird, but look at his art. Fuck yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But he's not weird to him. Andy he Warhol. Sees, he sees things different. He yeah. doesn't see things uh -huh. right away. So I'm, I'm very interested in how other people see the world. That's cool, man. That's badass. I like that, dude, a lot. Because, like, yeah. yeah, we probably, I think of our, as competition, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, Psh. That's nice. I start breaking <laughs> it down like, what did he use in that recipe? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's like, like, yeah, when we're all artists, but respect right? the art. Yeah, yeah. respect yeah. the art. Yeah. Yeah. Artists yeah. meaning that we create, and mm -hmm. it's more of a mindset of like, what's in me, I got, I got to put out. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm influenced in people's art definitely, but mm -hmm. I'm also influenced in other people how they live their life. You know how negative, how positive, how they see things. Mm -hmm. You know that's why I am influenced still in my art through people. And my family, yeah, that nothing to do with art, mm -hmm. you know. But the way they see things, I'm like, man, how do I show that? Sure. Like, oh man, my my grandma's so like uh, down to earth and 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 loving to everybody. How do I put that into a tattoo? Wow, nice, you know nice, I mean? yeah, hell yeah. I mean, because art is supposed to evoke emotion. That's what yeah. it's up. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be, whether it's sad, happy, you know, anger, whatever it is. If that's what's up, man. Uh, it, we gotta go of, watch, look at the art museum or some shit. So straight, yeah, yeah, straight, straight, straight up, straight up. Yeah, <laughs> but like even like with me, when I put a plate down, like I want people to be like, "Damn, I don't want to eat that." That's right. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. like, yes. I, when they say that, like it's it's stupid and cliche, right? But like in my mind, I'm like, "Damn, life's fucking cool. Thank you, man." Because I, I did yeah. put some time and effort into that plate. I didn't just fucking yeah, throw man. shit together. I was like, you know, placing it in a certain exactly. area, and making symmetry that's and color. Art. That's what separates you, Doug. Is like from any chef can just like dump a piece of food on the plate. It's gonna tastes good because yeah. it's going to go down the same you know what I mean? but right. you take the time to fucking you know boom, 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 and that's boom, the boom, difference boom, boom. You know what i mean when you're an artist like you respect the whole 
it's an time, experience, experience. yeah, the experience of the whole thing. It's you know the way saying? they live in this yeah, shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, and then also like I, I took a step back objectively, and then the fact that they're watching me play is a different type of service too. That's the whole thing too. So it's like soothing a little bit, it, you know, it's to them. I mean, but it's in their home too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like a whole different aspect. You know what I mean? It's like like they told me like without me saying anything, they're like, man, we enjoyed the experience, and I'm like. You know what I mean? And it's just those little things that just, like, make me keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing the right thing. You know what I mean? But, like, he is making me more, more refined. Like, damn, as good as I am, I could have been better. You know what I mean? I could have been better. As dude. good as that play looked, it yeah, could have looked better. It could have been better, dude. Yeah. Cause, <sighs> I always I think mean, about that shit, I appreciate man. Like, like, honestly, like, y your field, like, really inspires me, too, man. Yeah. The hard work that goes into it. For the sure. whole, like, they they go to I guess they go to sit down and everything what they see is what they see mm -hmm. but they don't see the kitchen they don't see how chaotic it is they don't see what you're doing no. right so they come to not only eat but to experience you exactly you know yeah, what I mean yeah. so you, yeah. you get to put a plate in front of them that mm -hmm. not only or they like have something yummy in their, their yeah. stomach and then stuff but like it's a whole experience right yeah man so like you control every aspect of that that's yeah. pretty in cool. a way i really do and like I, and being in the chef in the restaurant you were just like sending plates out like you could give everything on the plate and then the server grabs it and just takes it you know what i mean you're just like uh-huh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. your baby <laughs> yeah that's my baby you know like, yeah. whatever. so now it's more like now i'm uh, is it ready yeah you ready all right like, grab your plate to serve and then boom you serve you know what i mean like so it's different yeah but it's it's uh, a better art you know what i mean like being in a kitchen is different so like if anybody out there is a chef stuck in the kitchen and puts their art and they're mad about it DM me and I'll give you a job as a personal chef. You could put your art right in front of front of somebody, right in front of them. Played yeah. played it right played it right in front of them. That's dope, man. Yeah. And I think about that though is like when I take a picture of a cut, yeah, and I I don't post it. I have so many I call them throwaways because it's like you post a cut and you as an I the public is like damn that's a good cut, but me personally I'm like that's. Damn, like I wish I could have <laughs> had more time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. fuck. Well, we're people give me stuff. We're our when biggest I'm posting, man. Like I don't post. I'm like, ah, but I'm not happy. Yeah, exactly. we're our biggest cri yeah. critics. That's right. Um, exactly, for sure. Uh, one of the other, uh, other question, dog, is what's the difference between cockiness and confidence? Is ego good or bad? In what situations? Maybe yes, maybe no. No, I'm never down for ego, but you have to be um, self-aware. You really have to be self. Again, I know how good I am, but I know how good I'm not. I know what I need to get better, regardless of what other people see. Mm -hmm. You know, I've um, I'll have uh, uh, other artists come up to me, like in conventions and stuff like that. Like, oh man, this piece was really good. Like, eh, I could have done better than this. I, done, I didn't really know what I was doing here. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and I got to break down and be completely honest with myself. That's good, you know, but with them too, as artists too, because they could be like, "Whoa, oh, that's how you made it better. Actually, you could have made it better." Because I see this, but you're like, "Oh, picking out the points is that you think that's helping yeah, them yeah. out too?" Yeah, definitely, man. Um, what I'm trying to get to them right is. If I am not, if they look up to me mm -hmm. and I'm not comfortable with what I'm doing, mm -hmm. like what makes them okay with what they're doing? You know what I mean? So the people you look, if I know that I'm going to have people look up to me, which is cool, but I'm still going to push myself and I'm not going to like feed off of that. Like I'm thankful, very oh, thankful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stay even keel. Like, like, yeah. like the ups and downs for sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's great advice. And you talked about that earlier too. I think as an entrepreneur or anybody who wants to be successful, like the, the lows will bring you down, obviously, and you can't let them bring you low, but obviously the highs too you can't let them bring you too high man stay even kill with all the things that all the accolades all the bad things that come because i mean the swing comes i i in my, in my experience just recently too like the swing comes from the devil and you're like why is this happening this is good yeah. right no 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 this is bad this is bad you know it's a bad decision but i don't know i don't you, know the, the whole accident mm, the whole accident so time you want when i was going through you that. want people feed into your pride Nah, I think that's probably more dangerous. Yeah, because I was so on such dangerous. a high, you know, like getting great clients, making great money, and things were just all, all on the up and up. But then, like, it's and also just like, like mm. when, <laughs> you know what I mean? when do you accept acknowledgement? And I feel like, you know what I mean? A lot of people say, like, oh, I'm humble. And when you say, oh, dog, that's a good piece. Nah, I don't know about that. Is that too humble? Like, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Is there, if you say, yeah, that is a good piece, that's me. Is that being cocky? Uh, there's times when I, you, I can put my 100% all and I'm happy with it. And if somebody that I look up to is really like, oh, man, you really killed it there. Mm -hmm. you know. And honestly, it's different styles. A tattoo is not just a tattoo. You can't get, go to anybody for anything. Mm -hmm. right? I was had the honor and privilege, really, to uh, guest spot at uh, a shop in Hawaii. Uh, genuine tattoo under uh, Q. Right? Oh, I say, hey, man, can I guest spot? This guy's the nicest guy. He allows anybody. You know what I mean? Come and come and hang out. Come and tattoo. You know, mm -hmm. I did. A, I was there for a week. I did like two, three tattoos. The rest of the time, I was there Watch all day, him. sitting there in the corner, being quiet and just watching them tattoo. 
Then how, and at this point, how long have you been tattooing for? Oh, yeah. This was like like last year. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? But I'm like... Traditional tattooing? No, he does uh, Polynesian. Oh, okay. Right? This stuff. So I'm here like, ah, man, this is not great, you know? Yeah. <laughs> because I'm looking at him. This guy I've been looking up to forever. Mm-hmm. You know, this guy, uh, just honorable, nice guy, you know, and uh, just a legend. Wow. A legend in his own right, right? Um, so I look up to this guy, and I just want to learn from him. Mm-hmm. The, my... The tattoos, he's like, oh, man, that's a cool tattoo. And, you know, we're, we're vibing, man. But the best part of that whole trip was, like, at the end of it, he's like, hey, man, you didn't really tattoo him that much, huh? He's like, not really. So you just wanted to learn? I said, yeah, honestly, I just want to sit here and learn. I said, oh, okay. So he brought me, like, hey, well, this and this and this. You know, I was asking him questions, and uh, we just vibed broke, even, broke even more from that. He thought you were going to come in like a big dog, like, do your yeah, own thing. And uh, maybe, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't know how, how he was thinking, but that to me was like oh, i was so happy that just radiated happiness because i want to learn from these guys and yeah. how long have you been tattooing you know? for Dada, already um it's 13 years 13, 13 years. years and that's what i'm talking about guys like it's 13 year 13 year vet has the opportunity to go to another shop and he could have stunted and said look i'm gonna find some clients and piece them up dope so i could kind of like put my name out in shine Hawaii. On, yeah. in yeah. your shop yeah but humbly accepted the fact that, you know, he wasn't there to do that. He was there to learn. And that's fucking, that's dope, man. Because not every, we're in, a, we're in a day and age where not a lot of people are willing to do that, dog. You know yeah. what I mean? To learn off of the people that's been doing it for them. They they pick up a machine, a clipper, some fucking, you know, have knives. a cutting board and knives. And they think they're up there already. You know what I mean? And, and if you are passionate about it, like, you know, respect the, the ones who came before you, I think, you know? Mm-hmm. That's that's dope though. That's that's badass. Appreciate it. But I think what you were trying to poke on is that, like, for instance, like for me, if I was like putting a plate out and somebody's like, "Man, that was a nice plate," I would be like, "You know, oh, actually, those uh, Brussels sprouts didn't get to the temperature I wanted. You know, they're a little sloppy or whatever. You know, it just happens. It comes out like that. You know what I mean? But like, you're not saying it to like put down your plate or any. I, I would be saying it because like it's not perfect. You know what I mean? Like, I know you're saying it's beautiful, it's perfect, but it's not actually because like there's certain things that are like I would do better. You know what I mean? Right. So I don't know if that helps or hurts. No, but, that helps, man. Yeah, right. That means no matter how happy you are, and I'm still doing that way too. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. I, No matter how happy you are, mm. you, you see what you can do better. Right. You know right. that that moment when you're like, "Thanks, man." Yeah. Oh, then you didn't learn anything from that one. And I think that's <laughs> true. That's true, man. Right? That's one thousand percent true. Yeah, because right? every every plate you learn from every single. And the, you every know, day not everybody you learn. has that either, dog. Where they're like, you know, they put out a product. I see it all the time in the barber game, bro. Where they right. they let the client walk out, and every, and some people are like just watching the client walk out, like. Damn, you know, let them walk out like that, you know, but they're over here like, that's dope. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of yeah. like, oh, shit, okay. So look what? harder, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but another question, dog, is uh, what's the hardest triumph of f- in achieving your goals, your big goals? Like, what are some of the hardest triumphs you've gone like through problem. getting to this point? Mm, honestly, that, that part of like uh, just trying to keep a straight head. You know, not again, not being a, uh, uh, manip- not letting your own emo- emotions uh, manipulate yourself. You know, not feeding into your own ego and everything. That's been the hardest. You battle uh, with that sometimes, like, because I guess you get the feeling, especially since if you're the one, like, I'm the one in, in charge of the shop, right? I'm the one that everyone looks up to, right? So it's very easy to let that sneak in your head and mean like, I'm the dude. I, I know mm-hmm. what's up. Like, I don't care if it's me or like a, a, a one of the rookies like i can still learn from everybody right you know because they're, they're just looking at art in different ways so staying humble yeah is definitely one of the hard parts and um as far as right now like my actual goals to to get to the next level a lot of it is just trying to find the time to do what other people are dedicating their whole days to yeah. you know because and what is that because we were talking about that yeah. a little bit on sunday dog like what is the goal for you you were talking about how you want to choose certain pieces yeah man um a lot of people just want, I, I want it to be uh, sponsored. I want to do this and this. I feel that I want to be sponsored not because, oh, I want to be sponsored. I want to be sponsored because it's one thing less I have to worry about. You know, oh, I want to go and tattoo over here. If I can get flown over there, you know, with a brand that I believe in, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That means I'm I'm uh, backing a, a brand that's good that I, I use and everything, mm-hmm. but I'm still having, I can go other places on somebody else's dime. Mm-hmm. There was no way I would ever go to China. It was just, I was lucky enough to have Mithra fly, fly me out, you know? And I was like, man, I'm here, like, sitting on the Great Wall and I'm looking out. And it really does look misty and stuff. Like, oh, wow, man. 
and just tattooing got me here you know god got me here man like i'm just along for the ride this is amazing that's badass. right i went to to the netherlands and i would have never gone there if it wasn't for tattooing i went to like alaska i've been to hawaii uh, bahamas like every where i've gone i'm just it's like not, i'm not like yeah i'm here yeah i did this no, what do you, no what do you, thank you man this i would have never done this i've seen some things that are just blessed to be a part of yeah you know i want to keep doing that um and keep pushing myself and right now my ultimate goal is to just have people come in say hey man i want a piece by you do whatever you want and that's happened like a couple of times and every time it does to be honest those are the ones that i get the most like most clout for people love the most like oh man that's amazing <laughs> and that even helps even more is like yeah my vision not anybody else's like they let me uh do take whatever i want control. yeah take control and those are the ones that people love the most so my goal is to have that on a day-to-day -day basis and it's getting there people like oh, i want fl uh, i had it the other day i want flowers do whatever you want you know so i have so it's getting there you know mm -hmm. i mean and that's like oh man I get to be an artist. The least and input make money. they have is so, the better for you. As far as that yeah, aspect yeah. about being humble, though, what do you think? Like, how do you how do you stay humble? Like, do you, like me personally, like I'm I'm always like I have a business uh, like guru that I talk to, like, uh -huh. uh, and I just kind of bounce information off. Of. I'm like, I don't know, like like when I up my prices and stuff like that. I just want to stay humble. Like I'm, I just want to stay humble. And then and in my mind, I'm just like, it's like if I keep my like saying that to myself every day and not you know what i mean like i feel like if i just keep thinking humble you know what i mean like like yeah uh, you know i mean because like i don't know man like get the money and the pe the, the 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 clout validity validity of yeah. you know people from people like it'll corrupt you in a way you know, like, you know it will mean? man um i think i still remember what it is to sleep in the shop i still remember oh yeah vividly what, what it yeah. is to yeah, sleep true, in my true. truck uh -huh. To have all everything I own, yeah, like in a backpack. Sold. Yeah, always you know think I mean? that. Keep it, that in the back it of wasn't mind. that far. It wasn't that long yeah. ago, you know. So even the, my apprentices that I've taught, like I still remember being there. Mm -hmm. I still remember what it is to have to learn under somebody else and mm -hmm. go by and put your trust into somebody mm -hmm. that you don't understand. Yeah, you know. And again, I'm not. I'm not easy to work for, mm -hmm. uh, and I put a lot of uh, 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 belief in my people, and it's it's not easy to be there. Yeah. And I, I still remember that. You know, so as long as you still remember, actually remember what where it comes come from, from, remember how it feels yeah. to be broke and remember how it feels to not That's know anything. Yeah. Like, it's really easy. Like, oh, man. Yeah. Okay, I feel for you, dog. I feel yeah. for you. Like, let me help you out even yeah. more. So even I wish I had somebody, for the most part, I was more self-taught. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the styles and everything like that, I was kind of thrown in immediately. Yeah. When I started tattooing, I should have apprenticed for a year. I did not do that. Not by my choice, but it just happened. Mm -hmm. I wish I had somebody teaching me the way I'm trying to teach them. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm trying to make it easier for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do the most I can for them because I still remember what it, how shitty it was to be where they're at. Yeah. You know for I mean? sure, for sure. So, I, again, I want them to be uh, be able to support their families and everything like that. So I, find, I really do find joy in their success. And that's oh, yeah. because you care, dog. And I, I had this discussion with uh, Will the other day. You know, I was kind of getting on his ass a little bit. But, like, you know, he recognized that. Like, damn, you always... You're always upset with me, dog. I'm like, it's not that I'm upset, dog. It's just that I care. Yeah. Like, bro, look at everything I've done for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, he's like, do you care? And I'm like, bitch, <laughs> if you don't fucking know right now, <laughs> then you're never going to know. Yeah. You know. Because, you know what yeah. I mean? It, it goes like, yeah. beyond the time, the money that I've invested in this fool. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And pushing his product. Sometimes I post him more than I post myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So shit like that where I'm like, dude, recognize that, man. You know what I mean? Not everybody's. Some people like I was thrown in. And yo, like nobody wanted to show me their sauce. You know what I mean? No, mm -hmm. you, I can't show you how I cut. You're gonna take my clients. Yeah. And now I'm giving clients out. You know what I mean? So. Thousand, yeah. Not everybody's willing to d do what we do, dog. You know what I mean? And showing, That's giving them the flavor, giving them the sauce, giving them yeah. the the path of how to do do shit in in what we're doing. I am getting getting older in this game a little bit. So, the one thing I've told these guys is I don't want to care about your career more than you. You know, and mm. that's what's that's what and you have those arguments. Yes, dude, I'm I'm mad and I'm yelling at you and I feel bad for yelling at you. But it's because of how much I know you can do. Right. I know you can do this. I know how good you can be. And I see it. And what sucks is that you don't see you it. Don't see and it. you don't want to push yourself and you yeah. don't want to do this. Yeah. You know, uh, don't come at me and tell me that I want this and not do the work for it. Right. You know I mean? So it's it's frustrating because mm -hmm. I do have love and I do have like mm -hmm. I want these guys to be amazing. Yeah, you know I mean, I want to be. I want to have a shop where everybody's been flown out. 
not because they're a part of Blue Panther, because people love what they do. And they've worked hard. Yeah, yeah sure they, they, they've point. earned yeah. it. Yeah. And they're the ones flying out, out to like uh, Paris or whatever. And Blue oh, yeah. Panda just so happened to be the shop where they're where they're doing their work. It's the culture. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like the Miami Heat, you know what I mean? Like, where they're making the finals t- both times three in three years, you know what I mean? It's the culture, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, too, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's the culture. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, bro, I, I'm tired of, like, people leaving El Paso and going to Cali or going to uh, New York or going because that's those where the shops are at. And they are, right? Cali's where some badass artists are, badass shops, yeah. you know, or anywhere. I want El Paso to be one of those. I want to be that shop that puts this place on the map. And now we got some other shops that are actually like doing it, you know, some uh, some badass shops and to push that. I want El Paso to be one of those destinations. Like a staple. Spots. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like a staple yeah, for yeah. the tattoo game. You're like, yeah. Hell oh, like you should it. go to L.A. for a good black and gray tattoo or you should go to, you know, to New York for a good traditional. Go to El Paso. Exactly. Go to El Paso, man. They've got shops. They got this shop over here that's going to be amazing. Nice. And that's going to be like, oh, man, you know what I mean? Not because of me, because of everybody around me. You know, there you go. Yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. The team. Yes. It's about the team. Hell yeah. Hell Last yeah. question, dog. How do you pay it forward? What do you do to fulfill that? Like, I did my part. I mean, oh, you kind of spoke about like it. Kind of like you got mm-hmm. the blessings from God, so you're just giving them back. You know, and trying to do your. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're we're blessed, so we can bless others. Right. For sure. Plain and simple. The yeah. reason we're given any type of success is we can give give glory, right, and to help other people to yes, bring sir. other people up. It's. The whole it's lonely at the top. I don't want to be lonely at the top. I want to bring everybody with me. Mm. You know, keep them coming up because I'm still have that mindset is I'm still going to be better than you, right? If somebody is better than me, and there's a lot out of them, right? A lot of people out there that are. I'm still going to keep pushing myself. So I'm still going to help you and do what's right as a person, which makes me forces me to be a better artist. Right. Right. So I'm yeah. I'm trying to bring everybody with me. At the same time, keep pushing. It's kind of like you know how you took perspective of that. I'm I'm seeing what this artist eats. I'm seeing what he does. Is he meditating? Is he hiking? Da 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 da. You want your crew to look at you that way. Like what is he doing outside yeah. of the box? To once he comes into work, he's ready to go. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And honestly, like you know, besides my, my the car, which I'm pretty happy about, I'm actually pretty humble. I don't have like a crazy spot because I don't need a crazy spot. You know, I'm happy with where I'm at because I'm happy with less. But I want the shop to be to be great. That's I put more, more money. I put more money into the shop than I do with anything else. I own. Bro, you know my. Tell me my why, shop. dog. Tell me why. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I built that place an art room. You know the place has a kitchen. The place has is always stuffed with snacks and drinks. You know buy try to buy food for these guys almost every day. Someone everyone's gonna eat. No one's gonna go hungry. Yeah. You know like That's oh I don't have money for this. Hey man, here's some, here's some cash. Like not because I'm bragging or anything or short. But you need it, and I'm I'm capable. I'm of fortunate helping you enough to help. Yeah, you out. yeah, yeah. But it's you shouldn't see it as like I'm doing something good. No, yeah. it's just it's just the right thing to do. Man, you help me because you're supposed to. Yeah, it's a, no, you it's know a, what? Not, it's a, a great l- mindset. Yeah, and just overall great guest, man. Straight up, like like everything you've been saying is very positive, and like you're saying, like you're. I, Put they put you, just so like great, last, man. We like needed last a great week, uh, uh, last guest week's like guest. And, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. To, for our get our audience, man. Like last up. week's guest, dog. We were all on some like fucking motorcycles, fucking you know, doing stunts. And right now, dog, we're with the top down, cruising with the 101, dog. You know what yeah, I mean? The, 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 the breeze is in our hair and shit. So yeah. it was a different down shift, but it was a good yeah. like refreshing episode, dog, for me to get that kind of like. All right, back to the humbleness, back to the motivation, back to the grind. Yeah, so far we've straight all, all, positivity. All, but all of our guests have been like in, in the circle that we're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like when I met Vic, it's like that business mind that, you know, want to get to the top and shit and like willing to help others and stuff like that. Dia de los Viscados, the same way. You know, G, same way. We got Matt in here. So we're blessed, man. We're blessed to have guests like this. Blessed to be on this podcast. So appreciate yes, it. all y'all. Appreciate Another all y'all. Another one, Thanks man. It was great, my boy. I appreciate Ooh. you coming through, Oosh. dog. They were doing this for us, man. Family, bro. Yo, chef. I appreciate you, man. It was a pleasure meeting you, man. Hey, you too, bro. Another one, Yo, dog. Another this one, one, dog. Yeah. This, this was, was good, dog. This was real good. I love this shit, hell man. Yeah, hell, yeah. hell yeah, dope. Peace.